I used the new ChatGPT01 to create a 3D version of Tetris. Something that the previous version, ChatGPT40, could not do. It couldn't do it. GPT01 is another seemingly massive jump in code and performance, but it wasn't perfect. I still had to intervene in parts where it got stuck. So this here is the Tetris game I tried to make with GPT40. It was getting somewhere, but then it threw me off a cliff, leaving me to faceplant in a big pile of errors and just wouldn't do what I wanted it to do. And I still had to do so much handholding just to get it to here. Guiding it through step-by-steps, -step instructions, and you know, it still, still struggles to just figure things out and you end up in these loops of fails and fails and errors. As you can see, here's the whole chat. It went loads and loads of back and forth. And the, the, fundamentally, I couldn't get it to work. I couldn't get it to, I couldn't get it to figure out how to store the blocks into an array, and then use each of those individual blocks and the arrays to figure out which part of the array is full to see if the level needed clearing. It couldn't do it. Nor could I get it to make the blocks fall in the correct places, which you think would be trivial, but apparently not. It was always 50% out of, off, no matter how, what I tried to fix it. It was getting to the point where it's becoming so frustrating and so useless in its progress in development where it was no longer helpful, so I just abandoned the idea. But then, a few days ago, the new ChatGPT01 model was released, and I thought it would be a good test for the AI to see if it could do what the previous model failed at. And it managed to do it in less steps, less effort, less prompting, but it wasn't all perfect. There was only really one error it couldn't solve, but it was able to handle a super complex error, super complex issue with handling memory and of the assets of the blocks that were created. The first version it outputted for me, the code, it would crash the browser. When I explained to the AI what was happening, it fixed it in one go. It just worked straight away. No other errors, no minor mistakes. It understood through the code what was happening and how to fix it. And and the other all the models wouldn't have been able to do that at all. They would have thrown out error after error trying to break your way into fixing it. So that was super impressive, particularly because there was no error report to show it. I just described what was happening. The, the browser was crashing and it knew it straight away. But the issue it couldn't solve was actually a fairly simple one. <laughs> it was to do with loading the modules, which is like just getting the thing set up. ChatGPT had two solutions. It would just try and repeat, repeat. One didn't work and then it would try the other one and then that didn't work and it tried the first one again. And so I had to do the unthinkable. I opened Stack Overflow. <laughs> yes, I cheated on my AI with the good old fashioned human <laughs> solution. <laughs> After that, any issue or error I threw at it, uh, the ChatGPT handled it perfectly. Basically, first time every time. Amazing. So here are some other bullet point thoughts I had about the new model. There is no canvas at this time. It's I'm sure it'll come at the future, but it is a bit of a shame. It doesn't get lost, confused, stuck in a never-ending fail loop, which was the most frequent issue I had with dealing with the previous models. And that left me so frustrated, so frustrated all the time. I would get to that point and then you just want to throw your computer out a window because it would just end up with these stupid, never ending spiral of death, looking into a void of nothingness. <laughs> it would get so easily confused, it would make mistakes and output old code, not change things correctly, add in brackets here and there that shouldn't be, hallucinate. This new model has seemed to have solved that from what I've tested so far, which now for the first time in the ChatGPT's history and with any of these AIs is seriously making me think it may be a 10x multiplier to the code you can output. Though I may change my mind on the next project when I find its limits <laughs> and end up back crashing into walls again. <laughs> But like, because you don't have these never ending fail loops, you don't have to start new chats all the time. Um, it's context window must be larger. You must be able to throw more tokens at it. And I thought that the 4.0 was supposed to have a large window, but I was always getting these truncated messages being like, your chat's too long. And so I'd have to start new ones. I didn't have that with this. Uh, it, there probably is a limit there. I haven't hit it yet though. It can code more complex things without causing errors. 
like the array handling for the blocks and level clearing, something that the 4.0 failed to do, it did it first time, no problem, no issue, I didn't even have to, I thought that was going to be complicated, it, I didn't even have to test it once, it just worked straight away, out the box, amazing, I didn't even ask it to do it, I didn't even prompt it about doing the level clearing, it just did it, <laughs> it knew what it needed to do, <laughs> amazing, it remembers everything better, like there's no confusion, which was something that the older ones really struggled at. I could just tell it things and it would remember the parts that I've changed in the code and update it in the future. I didn't even have to tell it the new code, I just told it I changed this thing in the code and it would output a new change for me. Previous models, they get confused, so I had to constantly submit the latest version of the code, I'd tweet and give it back to it, and that was kind of annoyance. Uh, this new version seems to have solved that, it remembers things better. It gives the code out in snippets, not the whole thing, and so it's kind of like instructing you, telling you, informing you which part, what each part of the code is doing, which is really helpful for learning, uh, but you can instruct it to give you all the code at once, so you can get best of both worlds. can understand the instructions much better, it doesn't seem to get as confused, even if your instructions aren't as clear. You, the older models, you have to be really, really, really specific and to break it down into tiny steps and it would still end up <laughs> running into walls, but here it seems to just be able to handle many steps at once. It thinks in steps and, and it shows its processing and, and answers and ex explanations are better and more thorough and easier to understand. And maybe that's why it's outputting uh, code that has less bugs or simple errors and, uh, and even more able to handle more complicated things. Uh, maybe it's this way it's thinking through the code is better. And the last point I'm going to say in this is I ran into this message saying I only have 25 responses left. So well, I looked it up on the site and you get a limited amount of responses. I didn't realize this was a thing. Maybe I just missed it in the announcement. But you get 50 a week. So you can't use this for everything, obviously. that You're going to have to be somewhat tactical in how you use it. I must have used half of that, 25 of these, to make this game because I, the message said I got 25 left. So yeah, you want to be strategic with how you do it. You probably prompt with multiple clear steps, get it to output multiple things because it can handle that more complexity without getting confused. And maybe use 4.0 or maybe even the 01 Mini, which you get 50 responses a day from uh, to uh, work for the simpler parts of it, the, your output and switch the models to then be able to continue to use it and really just kind of save using the a one model for doing the most complicated things. I don't know, I haven't tested it doing that, I haven't tested the O1 Mini model, I, this is just my first impressions, it seems pretty good. Um, I mean, and if I was like a serious coder <laughs> or anything, uh, 200 a month for unlimited access, it may be worth it for a good few people if you can output this level of code at this rate. Though, I'll probably find the limits and end up hating it in my next video. I seem to flip-flop between thinking it's the greatest thing ever to it's a giant pile of trash with every other video. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe I wouldn't recommend it next video. Reserve the right to change my mind. <laughs> I reserve the right to change my mind. And <laughs> but yeah, uh, very impressed from what I have seen so far. I will be doing some more tests in the future. I really well, honestly wasn't expecting it to be so good. I kind of tested it at like 2 in the morning, just thought it was going to crash and end up in errors again, but like, no, went through the whole thing. Amazing.